At least 670 people are now feared dead from landslides in the PNG Highlands, with UN officials estimating more than 150 houses are buried under the rubble. More than 1,000 survivors are being evacuated from nearby communities, with the terrain around the disaster zone in Enga province remaining dangerous and unstable. Locals were digging with shovels, sticks and their bare hands to find people buried beneath earth and rock as the international aid organisations and government agencies joined the search. For more on the situation, we're joined by the ABC's Belinda Cora in the capital, Port Moresby. Belinda, what's the latest? A very good morning and yes, um, it's been a very long and hard weekend for many of those who continue to try and work hard in the devastated area in Anga province. At least uh, some have been able to assist while others have been able to come from outside neighbouring villages to help families who are now trying to recover and trying to pull out a lot of um, their family members and clan members who continue to struggle um, to actually accept what has happened on Friday till yesterday and till this morning as well. It's a very remote area. What's the risk of further landslides happening? Yes, very true. From the social media updates and posts, videos, you can actually see that um, there seems to be more mudslides that are happening. There are also movement of the earth at this time. Um, shakes that have been felt by locals while they try to um, look at actually savings and also trying to remove some of the um, family members from underneath the rubbles and debris. Um, that seems to be a risk for them and especially for those who are trying to go into the area to also assist many of those who are now left with um, things that they need at this time like clean drinking water and food including shelter so that seems that that is now one of the risks that they have to consider while trying to assist them at the same time and Belinda they are trying desperately to find survivors still are they removing bodies from the rubble From the weekend till Sunday itself, um, there's at least close to six people that they have been able to actually remove. Um, unfortunately, uh, no survivors at this stage. What there's sort of only, only one that was uh, one that was also pulled out. Sorry, pulled out, but she or he is now in hospital, um, nursing very serious injuries. Belinda, what sort of equipment are they using? We said that they're digging out with their hands. We're looking at those pictures. Is that because it's just so difficult to get help there to that area? Yes, um, the road access to the area has covered the large um, portion of the main highway that many can be able to access uh, into the area at this site at this time. And that has been one of the biggest um, challenges for many who are trying to travel in. Local authorities and um, disaster officials were able to get in. Um, at this time, uh, a local priest was able to speak with me on Saturday and was able to tell me that um, they desperately need heavy equipment and machinery to assist the locals in the area to try as much as possible to pull many more. Um, that has not reached them since um, that call until yesterday. I'm hoping that today and tomorrow we'll actually see more um, assistance from outside, including heavy machinery to assist the locals in the area. A devastating situation. Belinda Cora, thank you for the update.